Sherry Ann Richardson and we're standing in my garden here in Indiana on January 1st of 2011 so happy new year and I'm going to be planting carrot seeds today. The first ones we're going to plant are the round Romeo carrots from Renee's Garden Seeds. These are little tiny carrots they do really well in containers as well. I also have from Territorial Seed Company the dragon carrot which is actually a purple carrot and I have the Paris Market Carrot, which is a new one to me, but it says they're one and one and a half inch in diameter and that they have superior color and flavor. So we're going to go inside the greenhouse here where we just picked some tomatoes on December 30th and we're going to get these planted. in here is kind of dry as you can see. Um, we don't water a lot in the winter time. I think that's a little pea plant coming up right there. So I'm going to leave it. And there's another one. Well that's interesting. So we may have some peas among our carrots. Um, I still see some pea seed in here that I planted last fall. I didn't do a real good job of watering, so I didn't think it germinated. Okay, the first carrots we're going to plant are dragon, and you want to make some little signs. Mine are from the Plant a Row for the Hungry program, that because I donate a lot of my extra produce down to our local soup kitchens and food pantries. And then I'm just going to take these seeds here, a few of them. And I'm going to scatter them on top of the ground and kind of level that out a little bit. Okay. Through these carrots. Just going to scatter them. We can thin them as they begin to come up. Okay. And then the next one I'm going to do is the Paris Market. Like I said, we're just doing a few here. Um, I'll go ahead and put my sign in for my Romeo carrots as well. So, okay, Paris Market is next. You don't want to bury carrot seed real thick. It really is better to put it on top of the ground and then just kind of push it down. I've had the best success that way growing carrots. I'm going to take my ethyl glove. These are really nice gloves, even if you don't like garden gloves. And I'm going to just kind of pat this like this. And then I'm going to take my watering can and just kind of sprinkle. I don't want this real wet, but I do want enough water to help these germinate. As you can see, it's real easy to puddle this. We don't want to do that. So if it takes several sprinklings, then that's what you do. And these will germinate as the temperature warms enough up for them to germinate. And come spring, we will be picking carrots before anybody else.